Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video, and oh my god, we have to talk about that ending, and we have to talk about this episode. I'm so excited because this episode was amazing. So if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new, so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. So, the reason why I'm so excited is... Throughout this episode, there were so many links, and they were just teasing, you know, Sherlock finding out about everything, and then we had the future Grace, they were, like, finding out about the timeline and time travel stuff, and, you know, it just ended with a massive bang. We need to talk about it. So, let's get right into this, so I don't really have to say anything negative about this episode, because I don't have anything negative to say, so, let's go on and talk about the Sherlock stuff and then we'll go on to the ending and then we'll, you know, take on the other smaller parts of the episode because this is of great importance. So, first off, Sherlock figures out Nora's codes and at the start of the episode, Reverse Flash tells Nora to reveal all and throughout the episode, Nora wants to tell them but she can't sort of get the grip, she can't sort of make the leap to say it and We'll talk about how it's revealed in a second, but Sherlock figures out Nora's codes, he's decoded it, he reads it, it's sort of like a time journal, and essentially there is no names written down, and so that's quite smart on her part, right? But he figures it out, and so Iris at one point in the episode sees the timeline is malleable, so there's little hints that it's going to be revealed later, and so it finally happens, and so we, he finds out Thorn's secret, so he goes to... I forgot what they called it, it's like a place where they store all their stuff, but you see Thorne's wheelchair and it's got, you know, like a sort of futuristic USB for Gideon and he takes it, goes there, goes to Gideon's room and he uses it and he, he finds out Thorne's secret. So there's this video log from him in season one saying he's cracked the code for essentially manipulating the timeline and time travel. So I think this links into the idea of how he can be at all these different places at once so he can sort of just manipulate it slightly so that the time wraiths don't, you know, come after him and that's how he's able to survive in these different timelines. So he's cracked it by that point and so also, next episode is the Godspeed episode, so we have to go crazy about that because they released a trailer. I haven't seen it yet, but we'll break that down hopefully later tonight or maybe tomorrow. I'm not sure when I get the time to do it, but that, I believe, is going to link into time travel and everything that's happening because at the end of the episode, something happens to Nora that will tease next episode. So, now let's move on. So, Sherlock actually finds out that the handwriting on the board in the video 100% matches the other handwriting in Nora's journal, so he finds out Nora is working with Reverse Flash. And so, then at the end of the episode, when we get to the ending scene, which is just like a mind-blown sort of scene where I was just like shaking for Barry and shaking for Team Flash and shaking for Nora, because it was at this point, Sherlock actually reveals... Nora's working with Reverse Flash, and so he just leads it up by saying something along the lines of, so when she first came back in the timeline, she made the lightest footprint at first, just, you know, going back to these four specific times, just saying hi, making sure she doesn't change anything really big, and then suddenly something else happens, she stops the satellite, and she does something rather brash, and she reveals herself, and so everyone at first thought that was her idea, but as we've been theorising since the end of that season, we kind of thought that there was someone behind it. And obviously we knew by, I believe, episode 10 that Reverse Flash was working with Nora, but now they've finally found out because Sherlock explains it. And I think it makes it all the more worse for Nora that Sherlock found out rather than her actually saying it herself. So I think that's more of an impact, and so it wasn't her idea to do that, and it wasn't her idea to do these different things, and so he's been, and so she's been getting help in the future, and she, and Reverse Flash seeks to change the timeline for his own needs, and that's what Sherlock says. So we can infer that, yeah, they're probably trying to work together, but there is a greater reasoning for Reverse Flash trying to change the timeline because he cracks the code and he does it in a way to benefit himself, and you saw that in that video log, so it's not just all about Nora, and I'm sure that will be revealed soon, but holy shit, 
Barry, Iris, and everyone's reaction, especially those two, Barry starts tearing up with the reveal of her working with his greatest enemy, and so just in an instant, when Nora's saying sorry, she's unable to speak, Barry literally just uses his powers, he runs, he grabs Nora, and he locks her in the time vault. Oh my god, when that happened, I was like, oh my god. Oh, it finally happened, and I knew, I knew when this reveal was coming, something harsh was going to happen, Barry would snap, and so I'm surprised he didn't just like, I don't know, kill her. Obviously he wouldn't, but wow, he locks her in the time vault, and Nora says, I'm sorry I lied to you, and then Barry replies, so am I. So essentially what you can get from that final line in the episode is essentially, you know, Nora saying, I'm sorry, I'm really sorry for not telling you about it, and Barry says, so am I, so he's sorry that she didn't tell him about it straight away, and that, in the first place, she's working with Reverse Flash. So he can't trust her, and so, like I said, this teases episode 18 titled Godspeed, and Danielle Panabaker's directing the episode, that is next week's episode, we're seeing Godspeed for the very first time, I cannot be more excited, but that teases the idea of what's happening, we know from behind the scenes, Barry and Nora go to 2049, so Nora takes Barry to probably meet Thorn actually, and so they are there together, so after you know, her being locked up, they're going to go to the future, and they're going to presumably confront, confront Fawn to actually see what, I guess, his greater plans are, and why they've been working together, why has he directed her to do all of this stuff. Obviously, the main reason for Nora is to save her dad, so she can have her dad in the future, but I believe there's probably another sort of nefarious reason for Reverse Flash helping. So that is a big portion of the episode and that's a big portion of what I wanted to talk about. So let's go ahead and talk about some other stuff. So Cicada from the future is revealed because there is, they do this experiment with the time sphere where they scratch it and it appears on the other one because, you know, if you change something in the past, it changes in the future. So therefore they're changing the timeline and they're changing what happens in the future ever so slightly so they can see it and it's revealed that yes this version of Cicada is from the future it's not from the present and they later find out that it's in fact Grace who is the new Cicada because she's from the future she wakes up and she comes back to try and kill the pu the person the meta who we see in the episode who supposedly killed her parents but it was an accident and so she looks for a case file it's a 2017 case file and so she essentially is on a mission in this episode. And so Orlan and Grace are together at the start of the episode. And so she reveals herself. And throughout the episode, she attempts many times to try and kill this new person. And we see this at various different places. And so we get a few cicada fights, a few massive fights that they have all together. And so it's Barry, Nora, and everyone before all the, you know, Nora stuff goes to chaos. Um... And then by the end of the episode, we get this scene where we actually see Cicada, the old Cicada, Orlan, actually turning and, you know, looking and thinking back on what he's done and how he's been wrong. And I really like the way they ended Cicada's storyline. Well, you know, Orlan's storyline because Grace is still going to be around. So essentially, he's sort of realized what he's done wrong and he's come back to Earth, essentially. And oh my God, Grace killed Orlan. That is massive. So Cicada is officially dead. And he's gone. What? <laughs> this episode was so good. I really, really liked it. And so let's just talk about a few other things. Just to break down before we end this. So Camilla is officially Cisco's girlfriend. They're going to be around each other for a bit more this season. I don't know if she'll stay on till next season. But essentially she is the, as Ralph says, Peter Parker for Iris, so she's going to be taking the photographs, so she's going to be working with Iris, I'm guessing we're going to see her around a bit more, like, I don't have, like, a real big feeling for her yet, because she's been around really, really, like, barely any time, and I think she's just okay right now, so we'll see if they actually continue to do that some more, and continue to bring her in, and so the final thing that I want to talk about is that Caitlyn was not in this episode much until the very end, 
and the reason why she wasn't in the episode was because she, at this time she was prepping and she was getting ready to shoot episode 18 when around the time they were shooting episode 17 because you know that was her first time directing she needed to be ready and so she explained that on social media just yesterday I believe so that's why she wasn't around so thank you guys so much for watching I really really like this episode I will have my trailer breakdown out hopefully later tonight or it may be tomorrow but we're going to be breaking down the Godspeed trailer I cannot wait for next week's episode so anyway guys I'll catch you guys later goodbye